Hello, welcome back to Metal Machine Shop and to my 5,000 subscriber special. This time I'm going to do a brief update on progress with my tilting Velomobile prototype that you can see behind me. You may have seen my earlier videos on progress to date, and I've been working on the wooden chassis mainly. Um, but in the meantime, um, these have arrived. These are the, well, this is one of them, I've got another one on the floor. These are the wheels, or the front wheels, for the Velomobile. Um, I've ordered these from ginkgovelotyler.de um, uh, They're 20-inch wheels with Sturmey Archer drum brake hubs. Uh, and most of this video is going to be about these wheels and unboxing them and the hub brake mechanism. So this is what things are looking like at the moment. Um, so I've got the two wheels, left-hand wheel, right-hand wheel, or the other way around, it doesn't really matter. These are the front wheels, I haven't ordered the rear wheel yet, that's a problem for another day. Um, but I've been working on these uprights, which are basically the wheel mounts. This is the left-hand one, which will be going on here somehow, uh, and the wheel will be connected to that. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is these will be the uprights that form part of the tilting mechanism. So I've been working on my welding skills for these, um, and my welding leaves quite a bit to be desired, but it's all practice, I suppose. So these are the bits so far, left hand one, right hand, and these bits form part of the steering linkage. There's another one. So I've got a video in production which will show you how I've been making these. They're quite complicated actually in terms of their shape. Um, I've also got another video looking at the misalignment spaces that I've made for these rod end bearings here. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the wheels. This is the unboxing of the wheels. I ordered the black 70 Velomobile wheel set from Ginkgo Velo Tyler, which includes the rims, spokes and hubs assembled to your specification. The wheels arrived after about two or three weeks from the order date, uh, which I thought was pretty impressive since they're handmade and were posted from Germany to the UK. I chose the Kinlin TL21 406mm rims, black for 28 spokes. These are tubeless ready rims. And I went for the Sturmey Archer XSD 70mm drum brakes. The Kinlin rims are suitable for tyres between 28 to 45mm in width, which covers all eventualities for my purposes, and I'd probably go for the thinner end of that spectrum for my own tyres. The Sturmey Archer XSD drum brakes were anodised black. This is another box of bits that I ordered from sjscycles.co.uk. So these are the two tyres, two inner tubes and some other parts which I'll show you in a second. And these are the tyres, they're Schwalbe Marathon 35mm wide, 406mm tyres. The inner tubes are Schwalbe 20 inch tubes, suitable for the tyres I've ordered. And this envelope contains the washers that go with the Sturmey Archer drum brakes. So these are supposedly flatless tyres or unplat bar tyres, puncture proof tyres. These are the two backing plates for the drum brakes. I chose the HSB 530 and HSB 531 backing plates, which are the ones that come with the 16mm hole in the middle. Fairly crude technology, but effective. And the good thing about these backing plates is that they come in left and right, which is ideal if you're making a three-wheeled vehicle. These are the washers that go with them. So the outer washer is the HMW533, and the inner washer is the HMW539. So this is the Sturmey Archer 16 minimum millimeter lit inner washer HMW539 it fits inside the brake drum like this and this is the outer washer HMW533 it goes in the brake drum on the outside like that Once the inner washer is fitted into the brake drum, 
brake drum fits into the hub like that. This is the basic wheel without the drum brake fitted. That weighs 780 grams. The drum brake 231 grams adding the washers 262 grams so the wheel with the inner and the outer washer 1042 grams the tyre roughly 600 odd grams the 20 inch inner tube 118 grams minus the weight of the box total weight of the wheel, the tyre and the inner tube is a whacking 1.764 kilograms. Thanks for watching, thanks for your 5,000 subscriptions. Any questions or comments, put them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike if you hated it, and see you next time. Coming up in future videos, I'm going to have a closer look at the uprights that I made from steel tubing. These involved a fair bit of welding, bending and shaping, so quite an interesting project in their own right. We'll have another look at the front tilting mechanism and the various plates and connectors that go into that, including the rod end bearings and the misalignment spacers that I made to increase the angle of operation of the tilting mechanism. And there'll be a bit of lathe work for good measure. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you next time.